what's good YouTube because of Kobe here so we got some up church for you he dropped for the 4th of July I hope everyone had a good 4th I hope y'all had fun Creek Squad we got some up church for you this is Appalachia this is of the board series I haven't seen a board one for a while it's um you guys know about board those of you that are Creek Squad for those of you here who are newer to up church from watching the channel anything by upchurch that has board as a hashtag or in parentheses means that he just got on a mic and absolutely spit some hot flame and a lot of sometimes he's roasting people a lot of, and a lot of them he definitely roasts people and stuff like that so you never know what to expect with one of these tracks that has that board in it I love these ones. I'm excited to see what he does with this. It's been a little minute since we had some church on the channel. I think No Title Part 4 was the last one that we did for him. He's been on tour and stuff, super busy playing shows and stuff. So, Up Church is out here doing his thing and decided to give us a song for the 4th of July. And I'm excited to check this out for you guys. Creek Squad, thank you for tuning in. If you guys are new here, subscribe for me. You know the gist. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything. Everything in between break down all the lyrics I like going the whole nine yards on busting the lyrics out for you guys especially on wild songs like up church lyrics because there's so many complexities and so sometimes lyrics that have like four different meanings I think we found like I said we found one that had like six or seven in it so it's crazy it's crazy with an up church reaction you never know what you're gonna get that's why I love reacting to his music, and that's why I've fucked with his music ever since the very first time one of you introduced me to him, which was the 0 to 100 remix. That video was fun. That's a good song. That's where I started. That was the first reaction I ever did to church. So I'm excited to check this out for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please go get help if you have mental health problems or addiction problems. You can live a better life, man. You can settle into something better for yourself. You can truly go out there and help other people and encourage them to do the same thing inside of their life. And it's just a blessing on the other side of things. So please, if you're struggling, don't ever think that you can't get through that stuff. Everybody goes through things in life. You got to stay tough. You have to weather that storm. And you have to find it inside of yourself to want to live a better life for yourself. Nobody can do it but you. You have to want it for yourself. And then to help people on the other side of it is the greatest thing because that just proves that you can recover from anything and that at the end of the day any mistakes you made were learning experiences that can now be valuable knowledge to somebody who might also be going through those same crazy situations inside of their life so always keep that in mind if you're struggling with those things i like to say that because i'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict and it was a hell of a ride for me so the fact that i'm even here able to talk to you guys is a miracle in itself so I like to always say that in my videos at the beginning. We're going to get into it for you. I'm Vacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got some up church Appalachia board. Church. Mother. Oh dear. Mother. Yeah, talk that talk. You talking about me, y'all. I'm going to go and smoke my weed and come back in the night. Psych. Oh dear. Yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> As I predicted, the first bar, the first bar tells it all. He said, yeah, talk that talk, you talking about me, I, right. yep. He's already addressed people that are talking about him. He's already started it out like that. Well, he told you what he's going to do. He told you that he don't care. That's what he just said here, because he said, I'm going to go and smoke my weed, then come back, and then, nah, psych. He said, I'm not coming back. He said, screw you. I ain't got time for all that shit. I love it. <laughs> yeah, talk that talk. You talking about me, y'all. Right. I'm gonna go and smoke my weed and come back in the night. Psych. Level high. Nobody's son is Stella Wine. So never mind. Right now, I guess I'm going blind. Cause no shit opinions from my shadow get to sip the shine. Jock. Ryan Edwards, scissor hands. Cut a throat refined. Art. Behind bars. Give me the pin pad and the pad. Y'all got the industry in prison. Lost the keys to all these padlocks. And they all. Oh dear God, 
Yo, he gets better every song. I tell you guys that all the time. <sighs> Shit. His wordplay is so brilliant. The way he organizes it and, and tells the story while simultaneously fucking shitting on people that have something to say to him, right? He tells his story of his life and what he's doing with his life, but he also, much like what we just Trey did it in the song that we did by him in the video before this. You guys gotta go watch that. Go listen to Just Trey's new album, Confederate Underdog, as well. I'm gonna plug that in here because that kid deserves it. He's fucking fantastic. Go listen to his new album. That first song that we did was along this same vein, like, telling his story, what he's doing with himself, and what Creek Squad's doing. But also reminding the haters that no doubt is ever going to conquer or overcome what we got going on over here. And I like that. He said, level high, nobody, sun and Stella win, so never mind. Nice. Right now I guess I'm going blind. Cause no shit opinions from a shadow get to sip the shine jar. Damn! <laughs> he said, you're like a shadow in the back of the room. That's what he said, no shit opinions from a shadow, get the sip the shine jar. He said, right now I'm going blind. Oh, but oh, moonshine can make you go quite literally blackout blind, right? Oh my god, that tie-in. See what I mean? His bars are layered. You really gotta pay attention to catch these. I love it. I love that tie and He's just saying, you can't sit with me. You ain't ever gonna sip out of my shine jar because you out here talking shit about me, so fuck off. That's what he's saying. I'm blind to it. Ryan Edward scissor hands cut a throat. Refined art. God, Lord. Refined art, but Edward scissor hands made the fucking complicated lawn sculptures. <laughs> lawn sculptures, yeah. With the fucking bushes and shit. Oh, my God. He's too good, man. He's too funny. He's funny. Church is hilarious. We know this. Ryan Edwards says her hands cut a throat refined art. He said behind the bars. Nice. Give me a pen pal and a pad, y'all. I like that. Got the industry in prison and lost the keys to all the padlocks in their own mind rotting. Wow. He's saying you're rotting in your own mind trying to stop me. The industry's in prison and lost the keys to all these padlocks. Damn. I'm in the studio coughing because my throat destroyed from sticking every critic in a coffin. <laughs> I love it. It's so clean. It's such a smooth flow the way that he... He always, he has so many flows, especially on these bored ones, he brings out, he'll bring out a lot of unique kind of flows when it comes to these specific tracks right here, and I love it, he has such a unique flow style, very unorthodox, and he always has something important to say, that's what you gotta appreciate about Upchurch the most, is that he always has something so important to say with the message inside of the songs. He's an inspiration to not let doubters get to you and to not let those people stop you whenever they're fucking with you, man. Paul Bear, Bear in a Paul Bear, that's Bear Roman Matt, I son of the South, and they stuck inside of a square garden. Staring at him like an air marshal, being fly as fuck, I'm in the yeah. business like an air park. Sailed Ooh, him like a machete, nice. being swung by the cartel, all hell. Don't tell heaven I've been killing artists in this lane, why they. Holy shit. <laughs> Church is brutal, man. That's one of the most brutal bars I've ever heard. Jeez. That's a, that's a brutal bar right there. Holy shit, bro. Leave it to church. Leave it to church, man. In the car still Raise them pop the trunk So through the system Everything I drop Hot as hell I kill you And this soul Not for sale there Every track And not the rail Call me a music A coalition Edition position Even though I'm picking Fence pill My white neighbors Call the law Cause I've been Blazing trails Up church Your last name And I'ma leave A bleeding holy grail My daughter gonna be A savage mastermind With a ponytail So Oh my god 
my word. He was like, a lot of people have said this. He's kind of like the country Eminem. <laughs> like, his level of bars and the penmanship inside of it. The, the rhymes he comes up with, the creativity of the references. I mean, we got a wrestling reference again. The Paul Bearer reference is where we left off. He said, because my throat destroyed from sticking every critic in a coffin, which is very often nice. Like, see how that scheme is just so balanced and the internal scheme inside of it? Wow. Very amazing, he said, which is very often Paul Bearer bearing a Paul Bearer. That's bear arming mad. That's bear arming. <laughs> I'm son of the South and they stuck inside of a square garden. Wow. Oh, mad. He said, oh my God, mad. I'm son of the South. Oh my God, Madison Square Garden. Jesus oh Christ, church. <laughs> It feels like going to school with him sometimes, right? You can tell how much he just has practiced and how he's not afraid to use his fucking crazy fleeting thoughts as actual bars. A lot of people, like, people will struggle with that, like, the separation with wordplay and, like, how do I describe it? Real life. Like, when people say things like, Paul Bearer, or I'm a Paul Bearer, like, this and that, the flexing kind of bars, it's meant to be metaphorical and, like, flexing the pen game and showing what your pen can do. Like, you're describing what your pen can do. You're not, like, literally saying those things. That was a problem for Eminem back in the day. He had to explain himself all the fucking time, because they thought he was actually out there, like, doing everything he said in his songs and shit. Which Church sings about his real life in a lot of his music, most of his music, but when it comes to the flexing songs like this, it's all about the wordplay, and I think a lot of people struggle to have the level of bluntness that Church has established for himself <laughs> with what he will and won't say, especially in this next part right here. He, he said, so mad, I'm son of the South, and they stuck inside of a square garden, which is one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. That's a brilliant scheme. Shout out to the Son of the South album as well. That goes way back. That goes really far back into his catalog. Staring at him like an air marshal being fly as fuck. I like that. I'm in the business like an air par cell. <sighs> par cell. <laughs> Tongue like a machete being swung by the cartel. Aw, oh, hell, he said. <laughs> <laughs> fucking wild, bro. That's fucking wild. Don't tell, how, don't tell heaven I've been killing artists in this lane while they in their car still. Oh, dear God. See what I mean? Raised, it, raised on pop the trunk, so to the system everything I drop hot as hell. Mm-hmm. Saying he's setting the system on fire. I'll kill you and this soul not for sale. I love it. Every track cannot derail. Call me a, call me and music a coalition addition position, even though I'm picket fence pale. Damn. My white neighbors call the law because I've been blazing trails. Up church the last name, and I'ma leave a bleeding holy grail. He said, my daughter gonna be a savage mastermind with a ponytail, so oh well. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking epic. Congratulations to Church, man. Congratulations to Church on his first kid. That's epic, man. Fucking epic. Already writing the bars into the story in a flexing fashion, saying that his kid's gonna outwrap you. <laughs> That's fucking epic right there. You gotta love it, man.
Bobby grow My daughter gonna be a savage mastermind with a ponytail So, oh well, leaving the boat tail Family on the way, they want wow. my grandkids after a boat sail Good luck swimming to the next hotel I done kicked so many asses, they gonna evolve with no toenails They gon' tell my daughter I was a road male When I was sipping sister by the bo- oh well Motherfucker, I'm hillbilly, Appalachian history Got the fire from like thermite and Jack Daniels Distillery This country cousin, nothing but a valedictory www.onlyattachedtovictory.com Comma lungs full of the best American marijuana Yo, this is unbelievable what the fuck, dude? <sighs> wow. It's always a great day for up church. <laughs> Man, this is fucking fantastic right here. He said, uh, so his daughter's going to be a savage mastermind with a ponytail, so oh well, leaving a folk tale family on a wave name. He said, family on a wave, name one of my grandkids after a boat sail. What? Do you hear the level of creativity in this? I love these board songs. There's so many amazing gems inside of them, always his most incredible creative and insane bars i was just listening to the middle child remix earlier and that one has some fucking insane bars in it i love that one he said good luck swimming next to the next swimming to the next coattail i done kick so many asses they're gonna evolve with no toenails <sighs> they're gonna tell my daughter i was a rogue male when i was sipping scissor out of an old well that is a rogue male uh, tying into the family on a wave boat sail, rogue wave. Oh my god. This game is amazing. He said he kicked so many asses that his bloodline's going to have to evolve with no toenails. Because they wore him out kicking ass. That's fucking epic. <laughs> He said, motherfucker, I'm hillbilly, Appalachia history, got the fire flame like termite in Jack Daniels distilleries. That is a fucking bar. Man. So creative, for real. This country causing nothing but a valedictory, www.onlyattachedavictory.com, lungs full, lungs full of the best American marijuana. This is a brilliant... Brilliant song right here. My enemies all I roll is Belladonna. So many raps underground with the sprain. Osama, to fly. Airport won't let me wear a jacket. Bomber, wow. even when I'm dead, I couldn't pay to be a gunner. I guess reincarnation that probably my only sponsor. The hip hop, I'm an indestructible Apache helicopter. When I'm 50, I'll be calculated. Doc, sucker, processing paradoxical. Damn. This energy is periodic. Trying to do me, lead you to a mental hospital, period. Wow. Exclamation point, hold up, let me roll another joint Level 2, high rolling stone to my <sighs> These are brain benders, bro And I love it I love the thought that goes into this It's so brilliant He said, for my enemies <laughs> 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 With the bullet points <laughs> specifying this part of the song <laughs> on the lyric sheet here. I love that. All I roll is Belladonna. So many raps underground with this brain, Osama. This bar right here was really slick. I fucked with this one. He said, To fly airport won't let me wear a jacket, bomber. But a bomber is a type of jacket. <laughs> that was just really slick. That was slick right there. I like that. He said, even when I'm dead, I couldn't pay to be a goner. I guess reincarnation is probably my only sponsor to hip-hop. Damn. I like that. Damn. <laughs> I'm an indestructible Apache helicopter. Yeah. Don't let the alphabet community get a hold of that one. They'll think you switched to their side. <laughs> oh, I love it. I fucking love it, bro. 
He said, when I'm 50, I'll be calculated, cocksucker. Cow, in quotations, calculated, cocksucker. <laughs> wow. Even the, like, the pauses in the words, how he's separating the words. And the, the Madison one was insane. Up here, that other one with Madison Square Garden is where he did another thing like what he did right here. Processing paradoxical. This energy is periodical. Trying to do me lead you to a mental hospital? Period! Exclamation point. <laughs> Trying to do me lead you to a mental hospital. He said... <laughs> he said if you... <laughs> He said, if you tried to come up with the kind of shit that I come up with, you'd have to go to the mental hospital. He said, I'm that fucking crazy. Wow. Yeah. Church has been through a lot, man. I mean, I've been here for it, and I watched it all happen. Everything that's happened in, like, the last five to six years or so. And the fact that he just continued making music and not giving a fuck through all of it is is rare. Like, the, the level of bullshit has driven people insane. And we've witnessed it happen before. And Church is just saying that if, if you try to, like, do me, he's talking to the people that doubt him and talk shit, right? to all of his enemies. He's saying, if you try to do what I do, you would drive yourself so fucking crazy that you would end up in a mental hospital. He said, period. And then he says, exclamation point. <laughs> period as the word, exclamation point, actually ending the fucking statement. I love, see how, like... He uses the sentence structure of sentences itself as bars. And he does it in a witty way because he's not saying there's a period and an exclamation point. He's saying, I'm telling you, period, exclamation point. <laughs> I love that. Shit like that is so creative. That's what I appreciate about him. Tongue got wrapped around the engine hoist. Don't forget, we them, we them, we them holla boys. Hill, Billy, Hill, Billy, out the tongue of toys. Tell a hater he don't like me, but his mama does. And I'm pumping on the switcher with the fucking fuzz. You dinner in your town with your fucking jug. If they don't care, then we don't, we don't, we don't give a fuck. I'll stay trooper, just a different breed. Dixie Landers for life down south to the Greek receipts. In 200 years here, the base knocking from sea to trees. Coffin painted dark on her green and gray with a HB. Repeat when I get where I'm going, pardon in Paisley. Extract the urine from my bladder, pour it in the mainstream. Save a little for the business meeting, the mix inside of they mixed drink. He has tell them bitches I didn't even need six drinks. I ain't no cash, ain't no willy, ain't no wailing. No shit, but ain't no cash wailing, no willy and up charge, bitch. Oh, wow, I've never heard him say that before. Oh, that's different. Okay. Okay, I fuck with that. Church, you did something there. That's different. Wow. He said, hold up, let me roll another joint level too high, Rolling Stone, shout back to Rolling Stone, great song, till my tongue got wrapped around the engine hoist, wow, that is a bar, holy shit, crazy dude, don't forget we them, we them, we them, holler boys, hillbilly, hillbilly, out the trunk of toy, tell a hater he don't like me, but his mama does, and I'm puffing on a swisher with a fucking fuzz, <laughs> I bet. I bet. <laughs> that would not surprise me. Eating dinner in your town with your fucking judge is a flex, bro. <laughs> That's a fucking flex, church. I like that. I fuck with that bar. If they don't care, then we don't. We don't. We don't give a fuck. Shout out. Hell yeah. Throwing it back, man. 
I'm a state trooper, just a different breed. Dixie Landers for life down south till the creek recedes. This his schemes are so great. The rhymes he selects, like I said, is very unorthodox in his own style. I like it. In two hundred years hear the bass knocking from cedar trees. Even the trees will remember, he says. He says the trees <laughs> are gonna capture the essence in two hundred years. That is amazing. Coffin painted dark hunter green engraved with a HB. Mm-hmm. Repeat when I get where I'm going by Parton and Paisley. Wow. Wow. I like that he actually referenced a fucking song while saying what he was meaning to say. That is so cool. And then it ties it into the next scheme. Extract the urine from my bladder and pour it in the main stream. That is brilliant, dude. Man. He's saying I'm infiltrating the mainstream now. Yeah. Well deserved. Save a little for the business meeting to mix inside of their mixed drink. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Didn't he take a piss on a label lawn? He did. He pissed on a label lawn at one point, too. There's a picture of it. There's proof. He really did it. <laughs> he said, P.S., tell them bitches I didn't even need six strings. Here's where he said something. Because these are artists that he is notorious for referencing and, like, comparing himself to. And, uh, well... One, what you'll see a lot of credit, like when you look at the critical comments and the hater comments, a lot of them will be like, this guy's like a wannabe Cash, or he just wants to be Willie, or does he want to be Waylon? Like, I know what he's talking about when he says what he says here, and he's he's not saying this in a bad way towards any artist, He's he's fucking responding to those fucking copycat comments that people will leave on his stuff. I've seen them. I know what he's talking about. He said, I ain't no cash, ain't no willy, ain't no Waylon, no shit. Also remaining humble by saying, no shit, I'm not them. Right? Which throws the humble aspect into this whole flex, and I like that. That no shit is really important. But ain't no cash, Waylon, or willy, and up church, bitch. He said, I ain't them and they ain't fucking me. Big deal. Stop it. That's it. That's what he's saying. And I love the way he approached it. He said, none of us are each other. We're all legends. That's what he's saying. That's fucking beautiful. Shout out to Cash Willie and Waylon, man. Absolute legends. Parton and Paisley as well. Up here, we have Parton and Paisley as well. Beautiful, man. Shout out. But he said, yeah, I ain't none of them, no shit. Stop the comparisons and stop saying I'm trying to be them and saying that I ain't them and saying I'll never, he's, all, he's probably also referencing people being like, you'll never be at that level or blah, 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 whatever. You know how fucking people are. They can't just let somebody be their self and have their own thing. He says, but ain't none of them going to be in Upchurch either. He's like, I'm in my own fucking thing here, doing the country rap. Appalachia style. <laughs> I fucking vibe with the, I love the Appalachia vibes, man. I love it. He gets so many awesome references when he gets into that pocket talking about Appalachia and shit. With the fucking, like up here, the um, hillbilly Appalachia history got the fire flame like termite and Jack Daniels distilleries. Like, that's such a well crafted bar. Like, a, this whole thing is one of the most solid solid things I've heard from Upchurch lyrically. This is very lyrically sound. And so many references, so many like little pauses and words and using run along sentences while implementing like references into them. Like down here when he got the 
coffin painted dark hunter green engraved with a HB repeat when I get where I'm going saying he's gonna do it again but he's saying repeat when I get where I'm going by Parton and Paisley saying that's on repeat but I'm going to repeat when I get where I'm going tying into the reincarnation bar up here like you see how the entire lyric sheet ties into itself it's so brilliant it takes a special kind of writer to come up with stuff like this, and Church is one of those. He's a real one. Church is a genuinely real fucking writer. He knows what he's doing, and he does it brilliantly. I appreciate the fuck out of this. This is very, very awesome right here. I gotta leave a like on this video. Let's let it play out. Give it that full play time. There we go. Mud to Gold. That is such a fantastic song, man. I love that one. One of my favorites. Mud to Gold is definitely one of my all-time favorite up church songs for sure. There ain't a bad one, so it ain't like you're gonna find a bad one, but Mud to Gold is a very special gem. I really appreciate that song a whole lot. This was epic right here. I really enjoyed this one a whole lot. Very epic song right here. Like I said, all the tie-ins, the way the lyric sheet ties into itself completely from top to bottom. It's a very special kind of writing, and Upchurch has mastered it. I always enjoy breaking down his songs. Church, thank you for an awesome release, man. I know everybody enjoyed this. I'm going to have to go see what everybody else had to say about this. Some people probably might have caught some bars that I didn't fully acknowledge. That's what I like about watching the other takes on it, is that you sometimes find one that you yourself didn't fucking fully acknowledge. So that's why I like watching other people's takes on it just adds even more depth to how great the song is so shout out to all the other reaction channels as well you guys always kick ass i love checking out what they have to say about all these songs too shout out to church for giving us an awesome song shout out creek squad i appreciate you guys a lot you guys have been here since i first started doing reactions church was one of the first artists that i really really started fucking with because you guys put me on to him with that 0 to 100 remix. And he's become my favorite artist ever since then. Everything he puts out impresses me more and more. It's just kept escalating as the years went on. And it's going to continue that way. I'm all here for it. The original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Church. Support the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world related to life church is just on his flex stuff reminding people where he stands how he lives how he's doing his thing how he's made building a legacy and how he don't care for comparisons because he ain't them and they ain't him facts <laughs> well said very well done i love it thank you guys for tuning in like I say, if you struggle with mental health and addiction, please go get help. Live a better life. Go inspire other people to do the same thing for themselves. Spread the blessings. Appreciate each other. Help each other out. I'm glad to be here with you guys. Thank you a lot. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.